We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for Tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with TRK stock continuing to fight to stay above 20 cents. And in today's volatility, it was not the only stock experiencing volatility. The overall market in the SPY did as well. And our SPY bot since 7.06 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows crossed the midpoint to the upside. And just an hour later, our Flowbot sent out a SPY bullish flow at around 8.01 a.m. And from that moment forward, into the bell and after the bell, full strength on 42 vision and call options went up 400% plus within an hour, guys. And as you see there popping up on the screen within the options chain, some options even went higher than that. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. So here we are at TRKA trying to hold support. We're going to talk about the bull and bear indicators and what's going on with the inflow versus outflow. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunity that was mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on and receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our Tesla bot, our Tesla bot sent out a bull indicator at 7.05 a.m. And from that moment forward, inflows were above the midpoint, into the bell and after the bell, full strength there on 42 vision, and call options went up 400% plus within minutes to hours, guys. If you guys want to receive this clarity and edge of the charts, you can now gain access to it as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicators, getting connected over to our bots, we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with TRK stock doing a full transition from the dip area of white with red borders to bright green bars in the rip area on 42 vision. And so far from the rip area of bright green bars, it's came back down towards red bars. The last piece missing is white with red borders if the weakness were to continue. Now, if this is your first time coming across the channel, this is 42 vision, which allows us to see the dips from the rips, the rips to the dips, and where the strength and weakness lies, as well as we use our bull and bear indicators and inflow versus outflow as an extra layer of confirmation, which I'm going to pull up here and you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and using these resources to maximize in either direction, whether stocks are going up or going down. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility. So here we are with TRK stock under a bear indicator since yesterday at around 26 cents. It rejected there when it tried coming back up and things went lower today. And also outflows have crossed. And since yesterday, outflows have been dominating, guys. It's been below the midpoint and it's going to be crucial for this to switch from red to green and for inflows to try to pick back up towards the midpoint. And more importantly here, on the 30 minute to actually go ahead and cross back over. Now, the last time it recently crossed over with the bull indicator, it went from 19 cents all the way up to 32 cents back here on March 29th. Is it guaranteed to make the same move? No, but when those inflow crossovers tend to happen, there are possible strengths that start to reflect into the charts to the upside. And the same thing when the outflows cross to the downside. So it's gonna be crucial here not just on the 30 minute, but also here for the one hour to get back up. They're really close there to the midpoint and it has the possibility for the bulls to reappear. But 
we have bear indicators here as well at around 25 cents today in the pre-market it popped up try to come back up towards it and just sat sideways and rejected so that is important it rejected yesterday it rejected today so every time the bulls have tried to reappear it just comes right back down where these bear indicators have popped up on the 30 minute and the one hour and in the volatility of the 15 minute it is trying to bring itself back up but right now it's below where that bull indicator popped up at 23.79 to be exact and it's at 23.49 and these inflows are slightly above the midpoint but it's going to be crucial for them to pull upwards to start reflecting that strength into the chart and pull up the 30 minute and the one hour with it so that this bull indicator can hold true not get canceled by a bear indicator and those bear indicators on the 30 minute and one hour can possibly get canceled with these inflows picking back up and reflecting that strength into the chart guys so i'm going to share with you guys what are the key levels i would watch going into next week so the first support i would not ignore is 22 cents that's where things bounce back up today and try to hold strong and it's coming back towards it and if these outflows were to continue even lower and pull further away from the midpoint to the downside the next support i would not ignore is 20 cent area and then below that is the 18 cent area these are critical levels i would not ignore to the downside especially if these outflows continue to dominate on the 30 minute and also here on the 15 minute if this crossover to the downside happens because those inflows are at a critical level they need to stay above and if they lose traction it could quickly start to reflect into the chart and possibly even cancel out this bull indicator now to the upside the first resistance i would not ignore is 25 cents it had trouble getting towards it it rejected off of it multiple times in the day two times and even in the pre-market that's when things accelerated and i would like to see these inflows start to pick up not just here on the 30 minute but also on the 15 minute to the upside pulling away from the midpoint going green right staying green on this one and actually switching from red to green on the 30 minute and start reflecting that strength into the charts and if 25 cents gets broken through the next resistance is 27 where that bear indicator popped up yesterday and then above that is the 30 cent area these are the key levels i'll be watching to the upside and to the downside and these bull and bear indicators will be critical and the inflow versus outflow especially with how close things are here on the 30 minute to try to bring itself back up and on the 15 minute as it's right there above it it's going to be crucial and critical for it to hold as always guys thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money